Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Chiang Mai, Northern Thailand, and I am very excited this evening because we're going to a place that specializes in Thai pounded, it's literally sledgehammer pounded meat. The decorations, the tables are just kind of in the yard, spread throughout the yard. Uh, you pull into this place and it is perfect. It is a meat. Thai northern meat paradise. So we just arrived. We're gonna order everything that he has on his menu and he is an absolute legend of northern Thai grilled meat. Right, you pull in surrounded by fields. It's it's a yard restaurant and I want to say a huge shout out to both Andy Ricker and Austin Bush who are pioneers who are legends of Thai food. Um, they're the ones who promoted this restaurant which is called Padang Jintup, uh, famous for hammer pounded, sludge hammer pounded meat. ลุงตุ๊บลุงตุ๊บอันแหนมหมกไข่อ่าแหนมหมกไข่แหนมหมกไข่โอ้โหอันนี้หมูตุ๊บหมูตุ๊บหมูตุ๊บหมูตุ
หมูนี่มาอร่อยอร่อยอร่อยขอบคุณกับเริ่มครับครับฝนจะตกแล้วนะฝนจะตกครับลุงกับมูมูนึ่งกับเครื่องแกงไหมครับฮะเครื่องแกงใส่เครื่องแกงด้วยไหมครับใส่ตะไคร่ครับตะไคร่ขมิ้นเนี่ยกะขมิ้นขมิ้นตะไคร่เนี่ยกะอ่าโอเค We got something called uh, mu ning, which is pork, which is actually steamed with a paste of there's. He said there's um, lemongrass, turmeric, and I think galangal. Chai kap. My pet my gin kap. Potum and so my pet my gin kap. Oh, my pet my gin lah. My pet my gin kap. ไม่เผ็ดไม่กินเนอะไม่เผ็ดไม่กินครับลุงครับอันนี้เป็นเนื้ออันนี้เนื้อด้วยข้างข้างเอาหน่อเป็นเอาไหมครับเอาก็ได้นิดหน่อยครับนิดหน่อยครับอืมน้อยน้อยต้องอร่อยอร่อยอร่อยอร่อยอ่าจะกินหมดไหมเนี่ยเอาเลยเลยพิกบานเลยเนอะครับอันนี้เคยอะไรครับลุงน้ำพริกาน้ำพริกาอ๋ออันนี้อันนี้น้ำพริกาด้วยไหมมันโดนมันนี้แล้วมันหวานหวานนะอ๋อโอเคอันนี้รวมเผ็ดอย่างเดียวครับเผ็ดอย่างเดียวเผ็ดอย่างเดียว That's also one of the highlights here is the น้ำพริกา which is a A chili paste, a dry, it's very dry chili paste made especially with galangal. And he just hooked us up with the extra chili, with the extra portion. Oh, come, come. Yeah. Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. He's bringing more. What's up? Gop. Oh, gop. Oh, gop. Gop. Oh, gop. Frogs. Yum. 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 Oh. 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 The flies are coming out because it's so meat heavy, but we're gonna wave them away. We're gonna start eating, and the rain is kind of coming too. It's dark clouds all the way around. So hopefully we don't get rained out. But in case, we'll each grab like full arms worth of plates and run into the inside covering. And he's just—I think he's bringing our frogs. But we should get started, anyways. So have to begin. Oh, these are two different. Got pork. Pork and beef of the jintup. This is the signature dish. This is the hammer, sludge hammer pounded. I'm just going in with my fingers, piece of that beef. The texture. It's like, look at that texture. I'm gonna taste it first before, just the pure thing before trying the, the numpri. Wow. <laughs> oh wow! It's the type. The meat just keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. It's like sweet even. It's At so first, good. it just feels kind of dry and almost cottony. Mm -hmm. Then you mix your saliva to be. Ah. I like. I love it. Lap lo wa al. She is. They are characters. Mm -hmm. They. F it really feels like you're. You are at their home here. Okay, but to be slightly honest, you got to mix it with your saliva, mm -hmm. and that's when the flavor really starts emerging. Oh, oh wow! Mm -hmm. We thought the table was full already. It's really good. It's got a lot of meat. Next bite of meat with the nampikai. I cannot wait. 
for that extra spice. Herbal dry chili fragrance. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the stuff. That is the combination. Mm. Oh, I think the maquen is in there too. Yeah, the sensation. galangal in there. Mm -hmm. The lemongrass, the dry chili. Mm. Oh, that makes it though. <laughs> it's so good. And I would, I would next chase with some herbs. <clears throat> A beautiful herb plate. <laughs> including basils. One of my favorites, so is pak mm. prao. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese coriander. Mm. I love it. Just cleanses the palate. That intense herbalness. Uncle's excitement about the frogs when he came out with those frog later frogs. We gotta go frog next. Look at this creation. And just, it's served like ice cream style with spoons in it. <laughs> A bowl of ice cream. Oh look, look at the amount of herbs in here. The amount of chilies. Oh, a little frog foot. And then the frogs are just kind of chopped up and mixed in here. So it's almost like a curry or a soup. I will take a, a chunk of frog and just wrapped up in that juicy herbal chili. Kind of like late night food. We're here just as they open at 5 p.m. But it's really a late night kind of food that you sit around, you have some drinks with, you enjoy because of the strong flavors, because of the, the meatiness of this meal. An entire chopping board of herbs in here. I think there's... Um, there's lots of green onions, there's lots of coriander, there's a variety of different basils, maybe even some Vietnamese coriander. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, wow. oh, that's just mm. stunning. It's driven by herbs. Just completely based on herbs, but so many herbs in that mix that it's just a sensation of herbs. The frog is so tender too. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be chewing on bones. No, no bones. Wait, it's almost it's like so he deboned half the frog. Mm. And it got the yellow skin. Because I think he might have pre-cooked the frogs in oh. turmeric. That is a winner. That is, oh my goodness. Absurdly delicious, yeah. That is chef's skill. Full of, full of the most homely ingredients that you want. Wow. That is incredible. Mm. Oh, it's the ah uh, the rau ah uh, the pakpao rau ram yeah, rau that that flavor just comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! What a way to use a frog. Yeah. Oh, drumstick. <laughs> I'll go for the drumstick. And I think. Oh wow! I'm not really sure how you cook the frog before before mixing it into the salad or before mixing it into the soup but it has a smokiness, a real smokiness. I think it might have scorched it or steamed it or it's tender too. <laughs> wow, that flavor. Now might be an appropriate time to dig into the sticky rice. That is a chunk of sticky rice. Really um, condense, condense that in your fingers. I would not miss the opportunity to mix this with some of the the Galangal goodness. Ooh, that nam pluck is insane. <laughs> and then, and then rummage through the pile, the pile, the herb pile. Happiness. Next dish that you absolutely have to order here is what's roasting on the grill. Slow roasting in the banana leaf packets. Oh, nam mo kai. Oh, honey, jin so mai kan? Yeah. Mai kan, Oh, they're both the same. Okay. We're getting Pha Dang to show us how to do it though. Pick mai ao. Pick do I? Pick do I ka? Ao ka Pha Dang. Ao ka do I ka Pha Dang ka? Hot na. Chai mu na. Ao 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 met 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 dio ka dai. Met no met. Oh, yo pai yo pai. Ao met. Mai thang lai ka? Mai thang lai ka? I met Mo and Tab. Come on, Baba Dang. She's coming over to check on us. Lam, lam, lam. Mai lam, yang mai dai sai ka pong. Mai lam, ha lam to sai ka pong. 
ลำลำลำโอ้ว้าว the gooey fattiness pork skinniness of that <laughs> it's so good and then you got that hit of the Thai garlic the freshness of the the green chili it's so gooey gooey porky อร่อยนะอร่อยมากครับ huge cheers much love ป้าแดง thank you the creaminess the garlickiness explodes another award winning recipe combo right there ค่าการซูเปอร์ chicken foot soup one of Bing's favorite dishes you can see the feet in there a lot of lemongrass dish after dish that is really rich from chicken probably a lot of chicken feet have just been boiled down condensed to make that thick broth almost you can feel the the fattiness of the chicken skin in there thickening it Mm. So good. The lemongrass freshness, the onions, the coriander to freshen it up. I'm gonna try the pork version of the. Is it called mutup? Mutup. I think for this one, he said this this uh, is more of a sweet sauce, but I may try that for this one, or a bit of both. Mm. <laughs> wow. Well, the pork is a little more tender. Mm -hmm. Mm. But that like dry, it's very lean actually. Both the pork and the beef are very lean. Mm. Just Daddy, ultra I turned flavor. some music. What? I turned some music. Good job, my god. Okay, this is the moon nung. Moon nung. <laughs> She's coming to fix another bite. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 The herb. Oh, that's the chaser. Oh, I'm chasing it with the basil. Oh, this is amazing. That is insanely tender. Okay, you have to taste that. I don't think I even just chewed. It just went down. The herbalness, the fat is just melted into the meat there, mm, and that lemongrass. Oh, Badeng is heading out. Badeng. <laughs> She's still saying yeah, can you, lie. Can you, can you lie. show over? This is the final. This might be the final dish that we got today. Kang mu, which is the the chin of the pig, and you can see that's just cartilage and fat. Maybe mostly cartilage. It's transparent. You can actually see through it. I'm gonna make this bite count with a little bit of the the n a m p r i k goodness. Like immediately, immediately a textural mm -hmm. dream of crunchy, gooey, fatty, skinny. I don't think you could possibly ask for a better combination of their hospitality, delicious food, and atmosphere. The trio, the trifecta of homeliness, is just—it shines. It's. It's an amazing place. That's what makes this place so so special. You really feel at home when you're here. You are at home when you're here. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna relax. We're gonna slowly. This is also the type of place that you don't wanna you don't wanna just scarf down the food. This is made for chatting, sitting, and slowly taking Whoa. bites of meat one bite at a time. Okay. And while everything is good, I mean the jinto, the pounded meat is really the highlight, but. I think if I could choose just one dish from this entire table, it's got to be that frog soup, that frog salad, that yam g o p That is just flavor overdose to the max. Talk about an herbal blend here, an herbal froggy blend. 
And you, I like also that you just like reach in, you don't totally know what part you have. Oh, there's a either a hind leg or a back leg. No matter what part of the frog you get, you'll be happy. You can even eat some of the bones. But others are a little bit big, that flavor. You could just eat that Nampik Ka, that Galangal chili dip by the spoonful and be very happy. That chili dip is so good, you can just, I could just eat it with a spoon or just pick it up with herbs. When you're here, you'll just cover every single bite in it, it's that good. Spectacular, spectacular flavor. Starting to get the meat sweats. Guaranteed to get the, get the yeah. meat sweats here. Yeah. Hey, more, 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 วันหน้ามาอีกนะวันหน้ามาอีกเดี๋ยวนี้อาหารขาดหลายอย่างอยู่อ่าครับแอบมองๆก็ไม่มีแอบมองๆแอบมองๆผมชอบด้วยครับอ